Alrighty guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to another video today. So this is video number two of uh, December here. So we got a couple different things going on today. Well, number one, it is dead glass. It is absolutely perfect today. Um, it's probably 70 degrees right now and uh, not a ripple for as long as you can see right behind me, which is awesome. And I think it's gonna stay like that all day today. Um, the only thing we may be battling is water quality. For the past couple months where I haven't been fishing, I've been hearing a lot of just really bad water quality in my area. So we're gonna check that out today, see if it's really as bad as everyone's saying, or maybe the recent cold weather has uh, helped clear up the water a little bit. So we'll check that out. But along with that, we still have sand fleas from yesterday. If you guys watched my last video, um, that was actually yesterday. So we still have sand fleas, still have ice in the cooler. I still have that sheep's head from the last video, solid frozen in there. And uh, we're gonna try to add on to that today. So we're gonna go for sheep's head. I'm gonna keep my eye out for pompano. That's gonna be something I'm looking for pretty much every single day I go fishing this winter. And uh, yeah, today's video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. So we're gonna have, I've got one rod rigged up with a J hook that I'm gonna be throwing the uh, sand fleas on. And then other rod right here, Calusa rod, we are going to throw this guy. This is a skelly shrimp. It is a new bait by Carl's Bait and Tackle. It is actually called the salt native skelly shrimp. Uh, Lawson helped design this. It's a pretty cool looking shrimp. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard Lawson talk about it a little bit, but it is very durable. Very, very durable. It is like a hard rubbery material, but very, very floppy. It'll have great action in the water. And uh, it's got just a, I think it's a quarter ounce weighed worm hook under it, which should be solid for hook sets and stuff like that. But I can't wait to try it out and test it out. Um, so hopefully we'll get a couple fish on that today. And if you guys don't know what Carl's Bait and Tackle is, it is basically just an online retail shop, uh, fishing, you know, tackle shop type of deal where you guys can get uh, tackle, freshwater, saltwater, ice fishing, tons of different stuff. So go ahead and check them out. There will be a link in the description. And let's go, let's get right to it today. It's gonna be a good day. Hopefully we'll find some fish. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, let's go. Fun fact, the sand fleas from yesterday are no longer living. They're actually dead, but they do smell pretty good. <laughs> I mean, let's just say they smell. Um, so a sheep's head should like the smell of that, even if they're not lively. Um, I'm, I'm gonna bet a sheep's head is still gonna eat that. So I'll have the skelly shrimp rigged up on my second rod, and then this guy in my hand right now, I'm just gonna, just gonna keep my eye out for anything right now. If I see snook, redfish, trout, pick up the skelly shrimp and then I'm gonna keep my eye out for sheep's head as well with this in my hand, so let's do this. Make some blind casts right here first. sand flea under this big dock here. Something under there. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, man. <sighs> Dude, I hooked one right before this one, and he took me into some structure, and I was like, I wonder if that was a sheep's head or what that was, because, I don't know, it went straight into structure, and next sand flea, we got a decent one. Get in here, bud. <clears throat> All right, they're out and about. They are out and about. We'll keep this guy. He should be uh, 12 is the minimum. This guy looks about 14, maybe 15. All right, fought well. I was like, for a second I thought I had a redfish, but nice sheep's head. Ooh. Put him on the ruler, big tail on this one. Yeah, about 14 and a half. Nice. All 
Alright, in the cooler you go. Whew, got some icy, icy water in there. Alright, well that worked well. Now I know uh, Sheep's Head will in fact eat dead sand fleas. <laughs> Which, I was going to bet that they would eat them. They smell so strong. <laughs> Keep going. This is I freaking love sheep's head fishing. It's fun. It's a challenge. Hard to hook them. They fight decently, and they taste very good. It is super fun. But that's how we're rigging our sand flea right here. Just, just like that. Pretty simple. I got a lot of big docks coming up ahead. I'm hoping I can get a get a big one. I want to beat my personal best sheep, which is I think it was right at 20 inches. I think we could do that this winter for sure. Oh, there's a bite. <sighs> Missed him. <laughs> Missed him. <laughs> oh, that's why. It's a freaking huge pinfish. <laughs> I was like, how am I missing the sheep's head this many times? It's because this guy's mouth is like the size of a penny. Razor sharp though, so I gotta be careful. <laughs> All right, successfully grabbed him without being stabbed. Right. Got him. That is a pinfish. Actually, a very pretty looking fish if you can see all the blue in there. But back in the water. It was summertime. I can think of a lot of fish that would like to eat that pinfish. All right, we're gonna test out our mangrove luck here. See if any sheep set her home. Big red, big red, big red. Big red. Big red, I thought it was a stick. Huge red. It's a bull, almost. Oh my god, he was just sitting under that tree. I was like, I can't tell if that's like a little black drum, and like all I could see was like a quarter of his body. Big fish, small hook. Light leader, I gotta be careful. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting this. Oh, check that out. Big red. Ate the sand flea. <sighs> Oh, we got him. All right, we're gonna have to try to land this freaking giant red. Come here, bud. That was actually insane. I saw the like the the reddish shade in there and I was like, maybe that's a black drum, maybe that's just a shadow. I couldn't tell, so I dropped it in front of it and then I saw it move towards the the sand flea and I was like I think he just thumped it so I started reeling it tight and I see the line start to move and I set the hook <sighs> crazy man <sighs> oh my gosh <sighs> kind of stuck under the tree here but what a freaking giant on a sand flea this guy's probably i'm not gonna measure him or anything but if i had to guess probably 35 36 inches a beast redfish 
a beast. Kind of crazy. Sheep's head fishing, got sheep's head gear, and you can catch things like this. That's absolutely insane, but I'm going to go ahead and release this guy. Not much I can say. I wasn't expecting this today at all, so <laughs> pretty awesome. It's actually hooked right in the front of the lip. Perfect hook set, really. The line could not rub at all on his teeth. All right. Easy out. Back in the water you go. That's awesome. This is biggest red probably since Louisiana last year. Ooh. Trying to take off. <laughs> nice. Oh, all right, well, came back into a little mangrove tunnel here and uh, was looking just for sheep's head and ended up with a big bull red. Well, not a big bull red, but maybe just getting into that bull red size at th probably 35, 36 inches solid. We'll keep throwing these sand fleas around, keep looking. Let's go. Oh, I saw a little tarpon roll. Let me throw the shrimp here for a little bit. Just make some blind casts. Big snook floating right here, guys. looking at it. Oh, there's a whole school of snook. All right, then. Ooh. See a big snook in front of me. Hammer it. There's a big snook. Big snook, big snook, big snook. Gotta get him away from the trees. Oh, that was sick. Stay with me, buddy. Hooked right on the edge of the lip, I saw him. <sighs> Ate the artificial shrimp. He was just laid up underneath that shadow line right there. That was awesome, <laughs> yes. <sighs> All right, come on, buddy. Still fired up. Oh, that leader is frayed. Oh. 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 Got him. First fish on the skelly shrimp. Let's go. That is so dope right there. Damn, that's a heavy fish for being probably 28, 29 inches. I'm pretty sure it's snook season right now, but this guy is gonna go back in the water. Beautiful fish. Oh. All right, guys. Check that guy out on the uh, artificial shrimp. That salt native skelly shrimp is the name of the uh, the bait. That was so sick. This guy is probably gonna say he's 28, 29, 30, somewhere in that range. 
heavy fish too, probably 10, 12 pounds. Awesome. Awesome. That's a uh, first snook in four or five months. Let's go guys. Back in the water this guy's gonna go and we'll uh, make a few more casts and then uh, call it, but that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. All right, we'll pop this out of there. Look at that, was hooked, perfect. Really couldn't have hooked him any better. There's the bait right there. Beautiful, that was sick. Uh, you know what, I will measure this guy for all you guys who are wondering. I know we got, I know everyone's kind of wondering the length because y'all don't believe me, but we'll throw him on the ruler really quick. Oh, don't flip. I guess 28, 29, let's see. On 30, or on zero on that side, this side, 30 inches. Good guess. Everyone is gonna hate me. Oh, Jesus. Everyone's gonna hate me for letting this guy go because that is a perfect slot and a very healthy slot too. But, we'll, Jesus. <laughs> we'll catch him again when he's uh, 35, how about that? Ooh, all right guys, well, that is gonna be the end of today's video. Um, I just got my shrimp stuck in the tree and uh, that was the only one I brought with me. So if you guys do wanna check out that shrimp, you guys can hit the uh, top link in the description. It's called the Skelly Shrimp by uh, Salt Native, which is a Catch Co brand. Um, and actually, I don't remember if I said this earlier, Lawson Lindsay helped design it and he did a solid job because we, uh, we got a nice snook on it today, which was uh, 30 inches, which was absolutely awesome. Good way to end the day. Uh, we got that red on the sand flea, which was Super cool as well. I didn't expect that at all today. My plan actually was just to go out, try to catch some sheep's head, just see what eats, maybe some little redfish, maybe a little black drum here and there, something like that. But uh, we killed it. We got a nice sheep's head, got a nice redfish, and a uh, nice snook to end the day off. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And that is going to be it. It is uh, on to our next video. Hopefully, I'll be pumping them out one, two, three a week for all of December. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.